Hello and welcome again to another segment of Amplified, you know, where we make God larger, greater and louder and more powerful in our lives. Um, and I like to use that phrase because that's exactly what an amplifier is. You know, many of you are wondering, why is she saying amplified? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, you don't want to be soft when you have something so great to share. And God is great. God is awesome. And so when we speak words, we want to be confident in what we speak. You know, when we speak words of life into our environment, into our day, into our surroundings, we want to be so full of that greatness and that uh, power of who God is. And that's why I want to encourage you that as we begin this journey, I'm telling you, by the time we are, you know, a couple of segments in, you're going to be speaking these words so confidently of God into your own life and into your own surrounding. And you're going to start seeing the course of your life change. That's the goal is allowing God's words, allowing the words of God in your own mouth to shape your destiny. That's the point. That's the whole thing. We're not doing this so that I can just sit here and just talk. I like to talk anyways, but I like to speak words that are going to make change and differences in our lives. I love to share with others. Those of you that personally know me know that I love to share with people. I love to talk to people, communicate people. I like to tell jokes. I like to be silly because <laughs> you know what? We have to be real. We have to be who God created us to be. And then it's okay to be different. It's okay to share, you know, the way you know how to share. Some of you like to share words based on what you know. Some of you are, are sports enthusiasts, so you use examples using sports. Some of you are musicians, so you use music metaphors. Some of you, you know, are just those creative, you know, have creative juices that you just come up with all kinds of creative ways to communicate, you know. Sometimes I like to communicate with, you know, sometimes when people are emailing, you know, or they're emailing me stuff, instead of me saying something, I'll put a picture in there and they start busting up. Sometimes it's how you communicate, it's how you speak, it's what you say and how you say it. So I want to encourage you this day that it's important what you say and how you say it, but it's also important what you ask and how you ask. So today's segment, we're going to talk about what you're asking or what you're saying. That's what we're going to talk about today. Once again, my name is Rachel Reed, and I'm going to continue on this journey with you on using our words. That's what this whole thing is about, is speaking the word of God, using the word of God to direct your paths. Okay. Mark eleven twenty four. actually, this is one of my favorite scriptures. One of them, I, I think they're all my favorite. But it's important that not only we speak, because this is all about what we say and how we say it, but we have to believe what we're saying. You and I have to believe what we're saying. We have to believe it. Here it says, Mark eleven twenty three. 23. I'm just going to read um, out of the uh, New Life, uh, New International Version here. And it says, For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. Let me stop right there. Shall not doubt in his heart. That's a key right there. You can say everything you want, but if you're doubting, it don't matter. <laughs> so did you get that? Did you get that? If you're taking notes, write that down. You can say whatever you want, but if you don't, if, you, if you're doubting it, you're not going to get any answers on that one okay so newsflash don't doubt <laughs> it says and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe but shall believe that those things which he says come to pass he shall have whatever he says okay so he not only does he say believe but he says if he believes in those things that he says so as we begin to say things in our world, in our life, and in our day, what are we saying? What are we asking? Are we believing it? So if we're believing these things, we're believing that God's going to do something, I guarantee it, because His Word says it, Mark eleven twenty three. 23, I just read it to you. I just read it to you. If you have your Bible or if you have your cell phone there, check for yourself. I, I am not lying. I'll tell you the truth. It says it. If you believe those things which you say, and you will have whatever you say. So if you're believing that you're saying, you're believing what you're saying, you will have what you're saying. So that's the word of God saying that. Some of you are saying, well, that sounds kind of far-fetched. Well, it does sound far-fetched, but let me tell you something. He's not lying. He doesn't lie. He will never lie. He doesn't lie. 
So you could either continue on saying stuff you don't believe and you're never going to get anywhere, or you're going to start saying stuff and believe what you're saying. I believe God's going to help me. I believe God's going to get me through. I believe God's going to provide this. And some of you young adults, I believe you, you can say, I believe God's going to give me the right partner in my, in my life. I believe God's going to give me the right person to meet. The God person I'll eventually marry. God, you're going to give me the right house that I'm going to buy or the, or the right car I need to get. You know, young people or kids in school. Yeah, Lord, I believe that you're going to give me a good friend. I believe that you're going to find somebody that, that's going to be able to play with me or, or, or a good neighbor or a good, you know, everybody has their things that they want to ask. Everybody has those things that they want to ask and, and, and get an answer for. But it all starts with what you say, how you say it, and it does it line up with the Word of God. You may say that seems a little selfish, you know, sometimes when you're saying whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you received it and then it'll be yours. If you say it that way, you're kind of going, how, how could that be really true? Well, let me tell you once again, you have to believe that the Word of God is true. You have to believe that. If you believe it like I do, then if you say something and you believe it, then it will come to pass. Let me tell you, um, God will listen to us. He does listen to you. He listens to me and you. You know, let me tell you, God is waiting to hear from his children. He wants the best for you and I. Now today, what did you say today? What did you ask for today? Did you ask for anything? You know, I, I guess a good way to, to, to say this is that many times people don't get anything because they don't ask for anything. They don't ask. If you don't, you don't ask for something, you're not going to get it, really. Can you imagine yourself if you went somewhere, uh, uh, you know, let me just say it this way. You know, what if you were to go to the restaurant and you're sitting at the table, sitting at the restaurant, and the waiter's coming back and forth, walk and go, walk and go, and you're going, where's my food? Well, did you ask for it? Did you, ask the, did you, did you tell the waiter what you wanted? Did you tell them that you wanted to, you know, whatever it is that you like, <laughs> a steak with, you know, a steak with a big potato. And I don't know. You have to speak up and say what you want. It's important that we say, ask and it will be given to you. That's Matthew 7, 7. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. So it starts with us first asking, us first speaking out, us first saying, Lord, or to anybody or whatever kind of conversation you have to speak. But what are you speaking? Are you speaking words of life? Are you speaking words that are going to get results? Are you speaking things that are going to make sense to bring encouragement to those around you? You know, like I was just sharing that, that, that story about the restaurant. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but when I go somewhere, I, you know, I know I'm loud already because I, I don't hide my faith in God. I don't hide who I am. Those of you that are watching and know me, you guys are probably laughing going, yep, she's loud. Because I'm not going to be quiet about the, the God that I love. I'm not going to be quiet about the one that set me free. I'm not going to be quiet about the one that healed me. I'm not going to be quiet about the one that helped me. I'm not going to be quiet about the one that helps me to live and breathe every single day. I'm not going to be quiet about the one that opened doors for me that men is, are not going to be able to shut. I'm not going to be quiet about the things that, you know, that are exciting and important to me. God did a lot of great things in my life. God did a lot of, has done a lot of great things in your life. You might not think so. Why don't you step back and think about the things that he did in your life or that he has done. And if you think that he hasn't done anything in your life, why don't you start to speak things into your life? Why don't you start to say, God, you know what? I need to see some things change in my home. I need to see some things change in my own heart. Lord, help me to use the right words, Lord. Help me to speak words of life to my life, into my, into my situation. Help me to speak words to encourage others. Help me to speak words of, of truth, of faith, of hope. Why don't you try that for a little bit? Why don't you try what I'm telling you? Because it works. Why don't you try that first before you start saying it doesn't work? Before you start saying, no, I've tried it, it doesn't work. No, 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 no. Trying, is, well, that's when you go try clothes. No, you don't try one and get rid of it. No, no, no. Trying this, I'm talking about exercising the word of God into your life personally. I'm talking about speaking things. What are you believing for? What are you really believing for? You know, obviously you're listening because you do have a desire for God. Obviously you're right there listening to me. Who's that lady talking about to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Obviously because you do love God. Obviously because there is something about you and in your heart that's desiring the things of God. Obviously you're, you're saying, you know what? I want to know about how to speak God's, voice, God's word into me. 
I want to know how to use the right words to change my environment. Yeah, that's why you're listening. And that's why I'm, I just want to encourage you to go a step further. I want to encourage you just to take another step further. What are you believing for? I challenge you. Write it down right now. Write it down. Take a little pen and paper. Write, what are you believing for? And those are the things that you need to speak. If it's for your family to come together because it's all broken up, then you say, God, bring my family together. If it's for a job, then you say, God, provide something for me. If it's for health and healing in your life, then you thank God for your healing. Don't say, God, this hurts, that hurts. No, 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 no. Say, God, I believe you can help me through this. I believe you're going to get me through this. Because with God, according to Luke 1, 1 3, uh, 37, nothing is impossible with God. What things are you always talking about? What concerns you? God is greater than you need. He's bigger than your problem. He can help. He will help. Speak the word and believe. Be fully convinced, according to four of Romans 4.21, fully convinced that God is able to do what he's promised. He's not going to lie to you. Once again, we need to pray that everything, we need to speak that every word that comes out of your mouth, my mouth, is lined up with the word of God. That our bodies are lined up with the word of God. That our words are lined up with the word of God. Our thoughts are lined up with the word of God. Because God's word is true. So every sickness, every symptom, every fear, every worry, every confusion, and everything that's against and contrary, the word of God must go now and must line up with the truth of God's word. His word is unchangeable. His word is unmovable. His word is sharper than any two-edged sword. His word will never pass away. So today, be healed, be whole in Jesus' name because those are things that are ours and we can speak those things into our lives. I'm speaking them into yours. Receive them because they're yours too. Speak them to others because you can. And just know that we are here. We are amplified. We are here for you. We want to encourage you to speak those words of life. We want to encourage you to say those things that God says you can say. We want you to believe those things that God says you can have. We want you to hope in the things that God says are yours. This is what God's saying. I'm not saying anything different than what the word of God already says for us, for you, for me. I want to encourage you to stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting that you don't think you can do it. Stop doubting that you think you don't have the words. Stop doubting that you think that you, you're not enough to share with someone else. You, you can and you do and you will. As you begin to come in this journey with us, with the word of God and speaking words of life into your life, into your surrounding, speaking words of God, words of life into your home, words of God into your workplace, words of God, wherever you go, even in the grocery store, yeah, wherever you go, Jesus with you, the words with you because the word of God is with you in the beginning was the word and the word was God God is the word God is him if you know the word if you know the word you know him speak him speak him if you know him you speak him you know you don't have to be all you know 20 50 pound bible everywhere and try to be all this big religious giant you don't need to be that sometimes some of you will hold them back because you don't think you can do that God's not asking you to do that God is just asking you to speak truth of words of life into your life, into your surroundings. And I want to continue to tell you that. I'm going to continue to encourage you to build your faith by using words of life, by using words of truth. You can make it. You will do it. God is faithful. He is with you. He will provide. He will show you. He will guide you. He will teach you. He will show you. He will take you by the hand if he needs to. He knows what you need. He knows what words you need to hear. So God will send those people to tell you, just like he's sending me to help to tell you. Just know God is hearing you. God knows you. He knows you so well that he loves you so much that he's having this time for me to share these words with you. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for all of us. But he wants for us to learn how to use this voice that he gave us to speak words of life, words of encouragement, words of truth words of hope. And I will continue to sound like this. I know you're going to say you sound like a record, Rachel, but let me tell you, the sooner you know that death and life are in the power of the tongue, that we can guide our life into victory. And thank you for watching. Like, we're going to continue.